Uh, okay, what I'm doing today is uh, installing a uh, micro tilt, neck micro tilt on my fender. Uh, it's a Telecaster special, so it doesn't have the micro tilt. Uh, I already installed the plate, bought the plate with the hole in it. Uh, but now I have to drill the hole into the body uh, so I can install the, this is the nut. Um, these are called T-nuts and it comes with the piece that goes on the uh, neck and the, the nut, the Allen wrench nut. Uh, now this neck is a... Um, deluxe neck so it already has this in there so I won't have to install that so I'm going to drill a hole um, so it doesn't go all the way to the neck I'm just going to drill a pilot hole first um, but if you don't have that yet then you just go a little bit further so you can get the spot marked on your on your neck but I'm not going to go all the way because I, like I said I already have this I'll show you. So let me drill the hole and then um, do a pilot hole first. All right, so I made a hole with a 3 16 inch bit, which is pretty much the size of that, uh, the hole for the micro tilt. So it's nicely centered, as you can see, but I didn't go all the way down. So I'm gonna take the neck off now and uh, go to the other side and do the recess on it. As you can see, this neck already has the micro tilt uh, plate on it, the piece of metal there, it's recessed, so I don't have to do anything with that. I just gotta put the uh, T-nut on the, on the body. All right, so I put a piece of scrap wood underneath it so I can continue the hole all the way down so it doesn't splinter. This scrap wood, and um, I'll continue it. Uh, so it doesn't uh, splinter on the other side. All right, the hole is all the way through now, and that's with the 3 16th, which is this one. Now I have to uh, do use a Forstner bit. Um, it's a three-quarter inch Forstner bit. Uh, you can use a um, the uh, other drill, a larger drill bit, uh, but I prefer this because it makes a nice clean hole. You just can't go too deep with it. So I'm gonna do that next, and that's what this, the 3 16 hole is gonna be my pilot for the position of it. I did the, uh, the recess with the portion of it, and I used this as a guide so it can keep it flush with the wood. Might want to go just a teeny bit deeper, but not much. But it can't be above the wood, otherwise you're going to create space here. And it's going to tilt the neck. So make sure you recess it enough. Now i got to install the uh, the T-nut in there. So now what I have to do is drill this hole a little bit bigger for the T-nut to fit. Because it won't fit in the 3 16 I just use that. It's good enough for the other side, but not for this side. So this has got to fit in here. So I'm going to use a 5 16 uh, and I'll just drill it like um, as deep as the nut is. It's about a quarter of an inch or so. I marked it on the drill bit, uh, and then I'll install the T-nut. All right, so the hole is big enough for the T-nut to fit. Now what I'm going to do is uh, install little pilot holes in the um, the legs or the tips there so that it doesn't, I, instead of just hammering it down, it might split the neck. So I'm just going to drill like four pilot holes on each of these uh, points. So careful not to split the neck. There we go. Now I've got the T-nut in place. It's nice and flush with the wood. So it doesn't stick out. So if I just tighten it, it'll stay like its original position without any micro tilting. So it's nice and flush. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is put the guitar together and uh, test it out. And there it is, installed. Um, fits nice. Put the 
neck plate back on the neck is on uh, that's the same wrench that you use for the um, for the neck neck adjustment and uh, seems to work fine if you want to micro tilt it tighten it up loosen these two screws leave two screws these two screws tight uh, tighten this and it'll shift it uh, if not then leave it flat and uh, but you can micro tilt it whenever you need to all right hope that helped uh, and uh, good luck